Hey, how's it going, goat? How you doing? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to American Falls here in Farming Simulator 22. In today's episode, I take a big risk and spend all of my money on goats. But I still owe $100,000 on my farm. So, by going all in on goats, I could just end up flat broke. If you enjoy this video, let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, well, good morning, guys. I hope everybody is having a great day. Welcome back to American Falls here. I am starting off the day by getting a little bit of swathing done. Oop, zoom out there. Thankfully, it's finally time to harvest all of our alfalfa, and as you can see, I've kind of gotten a jump on it before I started talking to you guys. Jim down at the dealership let me borrow this sweet case swather, which is doing the job very nicely. Um, I also leased a forge wagon down there, and um, also, as you can see down, kind of way down by the corner, I had to use a special truck to get this swather here because it was too wide to fit on my flatbed. So when I get this thing loaded up, I'll show you guys the cool tow truck that Jim set me up with to get this thing over here. So the main plan for today is to add some goats to our farm. Recently, uh, America Falls, the map, had an update which allowed us to hold goats over in our sheep pen there. And it also kind of gave us this cool little milk tank thing. And I don't think sheep make milk. So that's why I'm thinking we're going to need to get some goats. Because if it's there, we might as well use it. I'm just going to get this all taken care of and chopped down. And then we are going to be loading up all of the wool that I have stored from our sheep right now. I drove by their uh, little stacking area and it seems like they have quite a bit of wool ready for us. Which is good news because I want to buy as many goats as I can. Okay, cool. Got all the alfalfa chopped down. Now we can move on to picking it up with the forage harvester. Look, this is the cool tow truck that the swather had to come on. The sides extend so that it's wide enough to get the swather on there. Alright, well I'm just going to pick all this up. Catch you guys in just a few seconds. Okay, cool. There's one full trailer load. We're sitting at 16,000 liters. And I think I'm just going to go drop this off right at the sheep because I know they need to be fed. Oh, wow. They were hungry. Oh, dang. They can hold a lot of food. Sweet. Well, that's good. Well, I guess I'll just get all of this loaded up. I'll probably get like another trailer full unloaded into their pen for them. And then I'll probably just store the rest of what I have in um, these commodity storage bin places things. I don't really know what this shed is called. Um, can't imagine I'm going to have too much left over. Huh. Well, okay. So I just dumped my second trailer, trailer full of uh, 
alfalfa hay into the sheep, and they're sitting at about 50,000 liters, which is looks like maybe halfway full. So looks like they could hold probably about 100,000 liters all together in food. So I'm probably just going to end up putting all of the food or all of the alfalfa hay that I'm picking up right now straight into the, the sheep pen because uh, we're going to be adding a lot more animals here this as well. We're only sitting at about 60 right now. So hopefully I could, hopefully I'm going to double that number in goats. Um, maybe more because I'm going to be spending quite a bit of money on goats. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get this finished up here. And then I'll catch up with you guys when I'm packing up this forge wagon and the, the swather and heading back over to Jim's place. Okay, cool. Just got all the alfalfa hay dropped off for the sheep pen right there. Now we just need to get all of these tools back over to Jim's place. Let me just go ahead and unhook the tractor. Cool. All right. Perfect. Now we'll just get the swather loaded back up onto the, f the rollback here. That's probably the best way to do I'm going to guess going backwards. There we go. Perfect. Hop back into the truck here. Hello. Roll back, put back in its spot. Perfect, strap her down. And there we go, just hook up to the... Just hook up to the forge wagon. Cool. Man, this is such a cool truck. I wonder why Jim's been hiding this thing from me. As you can see, we got all our wool stacking up nicely there. That's going to bring a pretty, pretty penny. Hopefully, buy a nice amount of goats with that. I mentioned to Jim that I was going to be buying some goats, and uh, he told me when I come back from getting my field all taken care of that he'd have a surprise for me. So he told me to just to go ahead and wait to pay for renting this equipment. For when I come back, he trusts me enough to wait to pay for it. Because he thinks my surprise might want to go home with me as well. So let's get on down there, get this stuff returned. Let's see what he's talking about. Oh yeah, listen to that Jake Brake sing. So my pickup truck is already down here at Jim's place because I left it when I was picking up all of this equipment. Oh my gosh, that Jake break is crazy. What is that? Like some kind of like horse trailer or something? Huh. Let me get this parked up over here and we'll see what's going on here. Huh, okay, so this is like a animal transport trailer he said I could fit some goats into this thing and he found it used so he's probably not wanting that much for it anyway it's about it was about three thousand dollars to go rent that so let me go see how much he wants for this trailer over here okay well thirteen thousand dollars later we now own this uh, goat transport and trailer sweet okay so let's get this hooked up onto the pickup truck here and I'm going to go back over to the farm and get all that wool loaded up and sold. Get us a little bit of extra money. Hopefully uh, recoup a little bit off of this trailer we just spent. Oh, excuse me. Okay, yeah, sweet. You can see all our wool stacking up nicely. Go ahead and get this trailer put away for now. We'll use that here in a little bit. Put that put right there. Perfect. I'm going to go grab the flatbed and get all this wool loaded up onto the flatbed and get it sold real quick. You know, I'm thinking we probably won't need this giant fermenting silo either. Hmm. Yeah, let me 
think about that, and then probably when we come back, I might be getting rid of that. Alright, let's see if I can grab two pallets at once. These look a little heavy, so I'm not too sure. Oh, yep. Working well so far. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> well, this works. I go up real slow, I can get up onto the trailer. I really need to get actual pallet forks instead of these spikes. Alright, there we go. Uh, well, I can't actually remember how much wool was going for, so... Really quickly, let's just check... Who's selling- who's buying at the highest price? We got 3600 right here, Falls Clothing Warehouse, alright. Let's go ahead and sell to them. Not a crazy amount of wool, but enough to bring in some money for some goats. I know spending all of my money on goats is probably a, not the best idea because we still owe over a hundred thousand dollars. Where am I going? Down there in the corner? Okay. But I think this is a a risk that is going to pay off. And we just need to keep the guys at the bank from finding out that we're spending all this money on goats. Alright, looks like Paul's Clothing Warehouse is right back here behind this gas station. Ooh, that looks like a... Tricky spot to back into, especially with this long wheelbase that I got on this truck right here. Uh, let me see what I can do. Oh, there we go. In the fence. <laughs> Well, there's one sold, but I need to get all of them sold, so see if we can get this trailer backed up into the right spot there. Okay, and we'll get this last little bit put in right there. Cool. All right, well, sweet. Now we're sitting at about $60,000, so we made almost $20,000 just off of those like, four or five pallets of wool that we had. So let me just kind of get out of here. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now I'm going to go back over to my farm and grab the pickup truck. But actually, before that, I think I might sell that giant blue fermenting silo as well, because we're not going to be doing any fermenting crops. On my farm, I'm just going to be focused on hay, because that's all my sheep need. I'm not going to be doing any kind of um, silage or anything like that. So there's really not a point for us to keep that fermenting silo. There we go. Let's just get this put away. Probably not going to be using it until we have our next contracting job. Yeah, this is just a big, loud eyesore. So, let me just see how much I'm going to get for it real quick. Oh, I don't even own it. I still have to buy it. <laughs> well, I guess that kind of puts a damper on things, so maybe we won't sell it. That's okay, we still have $60,000 to go spend on some goats. And if you see right here, we have this big milk container that uh, randomly appeared. 
So we might as well get some goats. Let's head on down to the animal dealer. See what kind of deal we can strike. Okay, so last time I was here, I remember, it was kind of a fiasco. I pulled all the way in, but I had my big truck. So let's just do it the right way from the start here. Go ahead and back all the way in. Oh, look, a collectible. I'll take it. Okay, so now we are looking for some goats. All right, goat male right there. Go ahead and select that dude. How many can we have? 13? That's how many we can fit into our trailer there and cost a total of $3,900. Okay, perfect. Okay, sweet. So, almost $4,000 later, we have a trailer full of goats, and you can see them there, kind of in the gap. And get a good angle. There we go. You can see them sitting there in the trailer. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get these guys loaded back over to their house. So, I feel like we're going to have a ton of goats. But this is also going to take me a bunch of trips as well, because I am going to spend all of my money. All $60,000. Well, let's just see how many goats that's going to get us, I guess. Okay, there we go. 13 male goats. And we have 73 out of 300 animals in our barn. Oh my god, okay, so we can hold a lot of goats. And just like that, folks, we are sitting at a full <laughs> sheep barn? I don't really know if we should call it a sheep barn anymore because we have a ton <laughs> of goats and sheep and ram and everything else in here. So, I've got 133 female goats, and if we look over here, I've got 107 male goats. Oh my gosh, so... What I didn't think about is we're not going to have any room for any offspring, so we might need to start selling some off as they get older. But look it, we got a pen full of goats now. I have no idea how much food they're going to take to <laughs> survive. <laughs> Hopefully they start making some, some goat milk pretty soon here. Um, I really need to start paying back that loan on the farm. Hey, how's it going, goat? How you doing? But man, that's really exciting. Guess I can put this trailer away for now. We're going to be using this here pretty soon because... Yeah, I'm going to need to be making some money back on these goats. Hopefully this is a, a profitable investment. I'm sure by the next episode we will get a clear idea of how profitable these goats will be because I'm sure we'll have some milk produced and then we'll be seeing how much that milk is worth. What? I think I'm just going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. I got what I wanted to do accomplished. We got a whole bunch of goats, and we're on our way to becoming the greatest goat farmer on the planet. The goat of goats, if you will. But I think with that, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I had a whole lot of fun making this one. Um, we still need to get back into landscaping. I had actually the city manager of American Falls call me and tell me that I had some work over on one of the other farms. Looks like the cow farm might have got foreclosed on and we need to go clean that up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I really appreciate you watching it. 
But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.